Hey everybody, Steve Bogan here, Basic Fitness LLC. And so this last weekend we did the Team Pro Physique first ever uh, camp. Um, and so that kind of just reinforced something that I've been wanting to talk about, which is what is right in the fitness industry. We all know that there's a lot of bad stereotypes in the fitness industry, right? That, you know, it creates a lot of unhealthy habits. Um, it's kind of douchey a lot of the times. Um, there can be a real lone wolf, like me against the world mentality, where it's always a competition. And, you know, there can be a, uh, a really bad implication of what the media makes you think you should look like or where you should be at, right? And I think that really getting people together from the team helps <clears throat> cement that there's a lot of good things in the fitness industry that are sort of going against um, some of those those bad vibes and stereotypes that you know you often see, right? We started off uh, Thursday night. Uh, everybody met up for dinner, right? Um, so first thing you think, well, all right, great, we're a team, and it's a bunch of powerlifters and bodybuilders, right? So you're gonna have absolute extremes uh, of some people eating a ton and some people eating nothing. Um, but that being said, um, we went out to a be like a Mongolian grill type place, and uh, nobody really seemed to either go super overboard or <clears throat> really under either. Everybody just had normal portions. Um, a couple people were actually in prep and just tracked and ate for their macros, uh, but you didn't see any kind of really unhealthy eating behavior at the dinner, which was really nice. Um, you know, a lot of times, especially with bodybuilding, you'll see people out there giving the impression that you can't eat at all, that you have to undereat. Um, but if you really take care of yourself in the off season and you really build yourself up, you can do a lot to, you know, keep that minimized uh, when you're getting ready for a show, right? And I think that was sort of just the beginning of it. Um, that wasn't really what stood out to me the most. What stood out to me the most was how a bunch of people who have never met in person before um, automatically had this bond, right? So, of course, um, a lot of them know each other. Uh, they talk online, whatever the case may be. We post, we give each other uh, our opinions or feedback uh, to try and, you know, just sort of share what's going on. Um, but... I don't think any of us had really ever met other than a few that live in the area. Um, and it was immediate too. Everybody was immediately on the same page, um, getting along, supportive, encouraging. It wasn't just that you know everybody came together and had a good time. I think that part of what brings us together is that we all know the bad times also. Um, you know, we're able to help one another and support one another when we're in those difficult times. Maybe it's you know, just that we're having issues with, with the diet phase and things aren't going the way we want. Um, you know, the body, it, it can be a pain in the ass. Um, and the mind can make it even worse. Uh, so it was really nice to have everybody together to share the struggles with as well. We all, you know, got together, we worked out, we lifted together, we learned together, we worked on form together. Um, PRs were set, you know, and it was just, it was almost, it was really like a family environment, you know. Uh, everybody just wanted to lift one another up, see see one another do better, make progress, improve, and really get towards their goal. You know, I think that maybe I'm just spoiled uh, with where I'm at. I have a really good group of people around me. And, uh, and I really have a great place set up for me. That being said, I know a lot of people don't, and so maybe it's a little bit different for you. Um, however, it is out there. Um, I know frequently I talk to people in fitness that say that they never really fit in before. They didn't have a lot of friends. But I think it's interesting because in fitness we all share, you know, the same or similar goals. And similar uh, enjoyment of going in and lifting or being active and fit. And uh, <clears throat> it's interesting because... We actually, I think we have a lot more in common than what most people realize. And I think that uh, 
that really really just creates that bonding experience and it, it really facilitates it well. But what are the, some of the other positive things that fitness is doing, right? We're ta let's talk about improving health markers, right? Cholesterol, LDLs, HDLs, right? So these are markers in the body that are going to dictate our risk factors or our risk for things like heart disease or metabolic symptoms. Um, so being fit, you know, being in a place of health it's going to make those better, right? So it's going to improve our general health. Uh, I think that that's a big deal. Uh, a lot of us in the fitness industry call it preventative medicine, right? So instead of having to go to the doctor to get treated, uh, you just stay healthy for the most part. Um, I think that's a big goal of fitness. Now, it doesn't always happen, but for the most part, the healthier you can stay, the better you take care of yourself. Uh, the less you're going to have to go to the doctor. Um, I mean, for example, uh, osteoporosis, right? Well, resistance training helps battle osteos osteoporosis. It's going to force your body to have a higher bone density. Um, so there's just one aspect. This one, I think, is a two-edged sword, right? Uh, body image. Body image is a bitch. Uh, we have a lot thrown at us about how we're supposed to look and how we should look and you know maintaining that and whether that's even uh, really whether that's even a realistic uh, goal. Uh, one of the great things about this weekend was it didn't matter where everybody was at because everybody was healthy right so that's a pretty decent window of body fat to where you can still be healthy. Um, there's even something that I like to refer to as a fat fit you know, where you hold extra body fat, but your health markers are still good. You're not at the doctor all the time, and you're still in good shape. You're in good health, right? Being stage lean is not a realistic goal. Uh, it just, it's not good for you, right? As you get leaner, your hormones change, and um, it, it's not a place you want to stay for an extended period of time. Being healthy is a very different thing. Um, it was nice to see so many people this weekend that we're more concerned with being healthy and meeting their goals. That's something that the fitness industry, you know, it really makes you battle against. Uh, but it's something that's really important, you know. Just really, really taking your eyes off of necessarily what, uh, you know, what the media is telling you you need to look like and focusing on your own health status, right? Why is that important, right? So. The more comfortable you are in your own skin, the more confident you're going to be just throughout your daily life. Um, it's People really like to not pay attention to it, but it affects a lot of things. I was um, looking at a study the other day that was looking at how body image and dieting actually affect your sex life, right? So they affect, it affects your intimate relationships. Um, this was between married couples. And um, it has different effects. Um, it's what they observe depending on whether you're a man or a woman. Um, and so, <clears throat> being comfortable with who you are and where you're at is a big deal, right? We don't need more added stress. And, uh, there's, like I said, there's a big window where you're still healthy, and it's okay to be within that window. I think one of the other great things that fitness does for us is that it helps us to set goals and get used to achieving them and working hard to get to them, right? I remember growing up, I thought things were just going to get handed to me, um, and the older I got, the more I realized that's just not how the world works, right? Uh, you really have to bust your ass to get things. Um, and I think fitness is really a great example of that. A lot of people, you know, there's going to be a different genetic base. But no matter what, you're never going to get to be the best or probably even where you want to be without a lot of hard work and some dedication. Um, I think that goal setting and that dedication and hard work, uh, it carries on, right? It carries on to other facets of life. And so, in that aspect, I think fitness is also really helping out to create a productive society. And of course, you have the endorphins that are released after you work out. You feel better. You're going to have more energy. You're making your body adapt, you know, to become more efficient at producing energy. Um, you know, and you're, just, you're taking care of it, right? So everybody likes to say the human body wasn't meant to sit around. So we've been surviving for however long human history has encompassed, right? So a lot of that, for the vast majority, 
has been going out hunting, gathering, and doing work. Um, so that's our adaptation. That's what our bodies are used to doing. It's really um, easy to get caught up in the media aspect of everything. What everybody shows you, right? Um, the fact that people do photo shoots normally when they're stage lean and then they post those photos all year round, it gives you an unrealistic expectation of how you should look in real life. But in really getting together with people and seeing and that one-on-one -on -one interaction and as a group and in person, it was so nice to get a break from all the crap, all the BS that we feed ourselves on a regular basis that we take in and just to really get down with real people. I think that when you really allow yourself to get real with people in the fitness industry, it opens up a lot of doors for you. Um, and then whatever opportunities that creates is going to be dependent on where you're trying to go. But it's going to give you a very much more realistic expectation of what it's going to take, how you're going to get there, and the people that you're going to want to surround yourself with along the way. That's just a little bit of what I think is right in the fitness industry. So hopefully you can find a group and can find some people to really surround yourself with that is going to give you that good environment. Uh, you know, people that are going to pick you up, that are going to encourage you, that are going to be there for you, that are going to give you advice when you need it and an ear when you need it, right? So I just want everybody out there to know that that does exist. You know, it is not uh, something of dreams and magical unicorns. Uh, and uh, I hope that you can all find that as well.